Hello Unicorn members, and thank you for watching. Today we will be talking about Refine and Succeed. After today, you will know how to use the basics of the Refine and Succeed software, our robust training software to take your game to the next level. Let's get started. Double click the Refine or Succeed icon on your desktop to start the program. The first screen you will see is the launcher window. In this window, you can change the settings, update the software, and start your own personal training facility. Now, go ahead and click the start button. The main screen of Refine and Succeed presents you with five modes to choose from. Stroke play, driving range, challenge, course practice, and the short game complex. Let's get into each one. Stroke play mode is where you can play various golf courses that come with your Refine and Succeed software. Once you click on stroke play, you can set the number of players up to six. Enter player names and other settings to customize your game. T location, T height, and difficulty are not available in the US. You can select if your golfer is a right-handed golfer or a left-handed golfer. Once you have completed your setup, click Next. Here you are presented with a course selection. You can choose from five courses in Refine, Horseshoe, Greenleaf, Pine Hills, Goldleaf, and Jade Oak. You get an additional 15 courses, 20 total, with Succeed. All courses are non-US. Select your course to proceed to the next screen. On this screen, you are presented with course settings, where you can customize game mode, 18 hole, 9 hole out, or 9 hole in. Here's your scorecard. Green speed and balance plate are not available in the US. You can set your mulligans to infinite or zero. You can set concede, which is gimme, to two feet or none. When can be set to weak, normal, strong, random. Weather can be set to sunny. Velocity type is miles per hour, yards and kilometers. And distance type is yards and meters. Once you have selected your settings, click start to begin the course. Once the course loads, options are on the bottom left corner of your display. Here you can choose from an array of tools to navigate through the course and preview swing and shot data. You may also use the honk keys above to each selection to quickly access those tools. F12 for mulligan, F11 for player add or delete, F8 for swing analysis, 0 for settings, F7 for scorecard, P for next player, F9 for ball and club data, F5 for next hole, F6 for grid, and D for unplayable. Number 0 will bring up the in-game settings. Some of these settings are the same as the pre-launch screen with the additions of fixed view, green grid, event cam, and ball trail. There's also the club selector and the ability to turn on and off club stickers. These settings are consistent through each course and driving range option. Our next mode is the driving range. Once you click on the driving range, you can select from three different driving range locations and select your desired settings. Time, distance type, right or left-handed golfers, and velocity type. Click start to load the driving range. Once the driving range loads, there are some options to go over. The first option is the menu in the bottom left corner of your display. Here you can set your parameters for the driving range session. Just like stroke play, some options have hotkeys assigned to them. F8 and F9 open up swing analysis and ball and club data for the most recent shot. If you do not have swing optics, this feature will not be available. H displays the shot history to see all the shots taken within that session. Z and X toggles the swing video and ball and club data to display after every shot. F will fix the camera so the screen is locked and does not follow the ball when in flight. The bottom five options can be dialed in to your preference. Ball trail, the color of the trailing line. There's red, blue, yellow, and none. Green speed. Green speed is not available in the US. Distance type, yards or meters. Distance type on the green, yards, meters or feet. And velocity type. 
Within these menu options, you are able to switch over to the approach range and putting. In approach range, you can set the ball between 10 and 150 yards from the pin. From the pin or the putting range, where the ball can be placed between 3 feet and 60 feet. The approach range and putting range are only available on the peak driving range and lake driving range. In the top right corner of your display are the settings for which data point you want to see after you hit a ball. Simply click settings up at the top right of your display. Here you can select up to 9 data points as well as turn club sticker features on or off. In the bottom right corner of your screen are your club optics replay buttons, the swing optics replay button and live feed option. You can change the club you are using by clicking on the club name. This window will also let you turn club stickers on or off. The driving range can store up to 10 shots and will display them on the left mini driving range as well. The next game in Refine and Succeed is the Challenge Mode, a fun game to entertain family and friends where you'll be able to play the closest to the pin. The closer to the pin you are, the more points you will receive. You can select the Day or Night Mode, and each round is timed. You will have 40 seconds to shoot 3 shots. Once you select Day or Night Mode, the game settings will appear. Up to 6 people can play alternating between shots, 60, 80, 100, and 120 yards. You can select your preferred settings for velocity, distance type, along with playing a single distance or all four together in chronological order. The game will also keep your top high scores. Clicking on course practice will look very similar to stroke play. However, in this mode, you are able to practice various shots from fairway bunker shots to three woods from the fairway on those reachable par fives. Once you go through the settings to select your course and options, the game will load once you press start. On the bottom right of your display, you will notice that the options have changed now. We have a replay shot button, a replay hole button, and the next hole option. Since this is practice, you are able to replay a difficult shot or simply drop the ball anywhere by clicking on the minimap and selecting your ball placement by clicking again and then selecting move. The menu options have changed as well to only show things necessary to game improvement. And here we have the short game complex. In this mode, you can shave strokes off your game. This area is divided into two types, approach and putting. Inside of the approach and putting complex, you are able to practice different types of shots and then evaluate them by seeing how close you can get to the pin. There are three modes to choose from. Practice mode, where you can repeat your approach and putting from any location with unlimited shots. Evaluation mode is where you can test your skills in different exercises and points will be awarded on your performance. Competition mode is a multiplayer game where you can play with up to six of your friends to see who can come out on top. On the bottom of the screen, you'll also see settings. Here you can adjust how much time, if you're a left or right handed golfer, velocity type, and distance type. Once you have made your selection, click start. Before we get started, you'll be able to select which pin you'd like to start at. Once you have made a selection, click move. On the top left of the screen, you'll be able to see how many yards there are to the pin, as well as who's playing. On the top right, you'll see the timer, as well as how many hits you've taken, as well as the height of the green. Below that, you'll see the mini-map, with an overall view of how close you are. Further down, you'll see location. Here you'll be able to select another scenario and click move to move there. Next to it, you'll see the settings tab. Here you can select if you'd like to randomize after each course or repeat a certain round. This concludes the Refine and Succeed Starter Guide. We hope the software improves your game. Thank you for watching. Till next time.